Voicemail transcription is a new feature added in Pacer's PBX, a speech-to-text service that transcends voicemail into a text message. This way, an extension user can read the voicemail instead of playing the voicemail. It's very convenient and private under many scenarios. In this video, we will introduce the configuration process to realize the voicemail transcription. First of all, we need to log into the administrator interface to activate voicemail transcription. Go to Call Features on the left sidebar and find voicemail. In the Voicemail Setting tab, we will find voicemail transcription. Click to enable the function. For the next step, as our STT function is based on the cloud speech to text of Google, we need to establish the connection between Google Cloud Platform and Yaystar P Service PBX through API. To realize it, we need to go into our Google Cloud Platform to create a project for the inner connection. On the top bar, click on My First Project. And in the pop up window, click on New Project. Here we can name this project and click Create. Then we can get into this project and enable the API interface for it. Click to get into the navigation menu and find API and Services. And enter Dashboard. In the top sidebar, click on Enable APIs and Services. Then we can choose which interface you would like to enable. So here, in the search tool, we put in speech to text and find the STT API interface. Select it and click Enable. Now, as we have enabled the STT API, we need to get the API key to realizing the connection. In the APIs and Services, we click on Credentials and in Create Credentials. We choose API key and in the pop up window, we click on Restrict the key to limit the access only to authorized requests for security reasons. Then, on the API Restrictions page, name the key to identify that. And in the Application Restrictions section, select No. Then we need to click here to restrict the key. And then choose the Speech Attacks API to specify the restriction only to allow the STT API and block other APIs. Then we can go back to the Credentials page and copy the API key. We can go back to PBX Management Interface and put in the API key to finish the connection for the last step. Click on Integration on the left sidebar. And in Integrations, find Speech to Text. Then in Service, we choose Google Cloud. And in API key, we paste the copied key for our last step into this field. Then we need to select the language that we're using in the settings. Please note that even though Yaster P Service PBX and Google STT support many languages, we must choose the language that we're using. Voicemail left in a wrong language will not work correctly by the STT service. Once we're down, click on Save, and we will see that the API is connected. And that was all we have for this video. Hope you guys like it, and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. By the way, need our support, please visit help.yaster.com.